After the dino, no leaking. Well, that is a good seal. Hey, this is Carl Owen. We're gonna do a engine dyno. These are just heads with Beehive Springs. Uh, a friend gave me those heads and it's a takeout cam. It's Lo Bianco's Lingenfelter 383 camshaft. We're gonna test to see if this rear main seal adapter leaks. Okay, gang. Here's a description of this uh, rear seal adapter. That's LT1, one piece rear seal. And there's a, a mandrel right there that's going to help me align this adapter. The crankshaft is a small block Chevy two-piece rear. So anyway, the mandrel aligns so that you can you know, put the adapter on as if the crankshaft was in there. And then this is so that you can drill uh, the pilot uh, for the little dowel pins. So right there's the holes that were drilled and then the dowel pins are in. This allows me to take it all off and put the crankshaft in. See how that's a small block Chevy two-piece rear. It doesn't even have a, a round flange. So there's also that cap that is put on that gives the ceiling area. That cap right there and there are o-rings you know to to keep the oil from even passing by that and you also have to uh put thread locker thread sealant on your uh flywheel bolts because oil could come and seep through that so let me finish putting the engine together the short block i'm just doing the short block here for ere 355 number 115 um but i need to get a long block made so we can test it on the dyno the oil pump is a uh, Melling 10554. It's a shark tooth and a shop oil pan. Uh, while I'm at it, I can get a top dead center mark on the timing pointer. I'm putting in uh, the Summit Budget LS7 style hydraulic lifters. Getting ready to put the heads on. I'm going to use a used uh, Velpro 1074 head gasket and shop cylinder heads uh spinning up the oil pump make sure that the oil system is good 60 pounds there and these are three eighths rocker studs and a lenati one six ratio everything getting buttoned up i have my water pump on and a shop damper and here we are at jim morgan morgan international for the dyno and ready to give it a test, ready to start it up.
warming it up, trying to get a ring seat and see if we get an oil leak in the rear main seal. This is a 355 cubic inch. Don't pay attention to the heads. They're just uh, a single beehive spring and unknown, like say flow. And the cam is just a mild cam. It looks good outside. At least for the ring seats, it looks good. up in I have a noisy valve, valve train it's a, a Lenati aluminum self aligning and you can hear them really ticky through the through those steel valve covers so we'll make a pull from three thirty five hundred to six style and not worry about the power and then just worry about the rear seal getting stressed and then we'll get some ring singing, seating also. It's a 40 weight break in oil, so it'll be high oil pressure. And we'll see if it leaks. That's what we're looking for. Not looking for power. It's 470, 469, no torque, <laughs> 458 torque, but we're not touching the heads cam, right? I don't see, see a drip, I'm going to go out there. Right now, it looks good after three pulls. After the dyno leaking. Well, that is a good seal. Believe it. Even that oil pan didn't leak. 